Arthroplasty is joint replacement, most basically. What we're talking about in this instance is spinal arthroplasty. And in 2012, what that effectively means is replacing the discs. As it stands, we replace the disc in the cervical and the lumbar regions. That's the neck and the back. My name is David Vincent. I am a board-certified, fellowship-trained neurological surgeon. I practice in Norfolk, Virginia at Neurosurgical Specialists. The key benefit of arthroplasty or artificial disc replacement in the cervical and lumbar spine is that it preserves motion at the operative level. The traditional benefits, which include pain relief and improved function, but what you gain with arthroplasty is, is the preservation of motion. That used to be a theoretical advantage, but now the, the scientific literature and our research shows that uh, we are seeing less disease, less breakdown at the adjacent levels, meaning above and below where we operate. Uh, the typical patient that has arthroplasty does, does not have a cervical collar on. Contradistinction to fusion is encouraged to move their neck immediately after surgery. The typical candidate is a young to middle aged active uh, adult. The return to athletic activity in sports is within a month in most patients. This is a technical procedure and at this hospital we have every single modern technology that you need to do spine surgery and some that you don't even actually need but are just nice to have. I practice at DePaul primarily because of the team oriented approach at this hospital. Uh, it's easy to focus on the bricks and the mortar but when it comes down to it the patient care really is decided on the quality of the team members and at DePaul we just have a fantastic team. Uh, and I, it, it's, I enjoy coming to work here.